So now we come to the left side, then to the right side. Right side is the action, the power of action, is the Surya Nadi, is the, is the channel of the sun. When you want to enact your desire, manifest it, then you use this action power, Ichha Shakti is called as Sanskrit. Now this power works mainly through this second center or we call it the third center, actually it is the third because the second one is that. This center is called as Swadhisthana and this center has got six, you can see six plexuses. It is like the star of David. Moses preached something and Jews are doing something else. Christ preached something and Christians are doing something else. Adi Shankaracharya taught something and Hindus are doing just the opposite. Muhammad taught something and they did just the opposite. It is not only in religion, in every way you see how we are perverted. Like this center is used for converting the fat in your stomach for the use of your brain. Now do we realize that our brain is made of fat? Do we know all our nerves are made of flat? Now there is a general principle in this country that you should not use any butter, which is very wrong. When you don't use any butter, how are you going to supply this brain with something? I mean where will you get? It is completely drained off. You use your brain so much, so much so that this poor center has to work only for your thinking which has no productivity. You just go on thinking, 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 thinking two horns come out of your head of thinking, still you are thinking and they go on growing, you cannot stop your thing. And what are you thinking? What have you got out of your thing? This right side is the one which is our five elements also, five elements within us. So when we started discovering what is the essence of the five elements, in India we started the Vedas thousands of years back and the effect of that is shown now is the science, you discover the science, that you understood how to master these five elements. But what did you do with it? You created bombs, horrible bombs you have created. You have created these devils and now you are frightened of them. Thank God, that is something good, that all such ventures stop by themselves. Because you create a bomb, it becomes a devil on top of your head. Now you can't start war because as soon as you start means no more existence. So you are frightened and that is how, where have we gone to? Science has led us to which sensible things we should think. For example, science has given us all these devices by which our life can be made very easy. We can have more time, we can have much more time than our forefathers had who had to do everything with their own hands and go about it. But here you see that everything is instant. I mean anything you want to have food, all right, you have instant, everything is made instant. But for what is it instant? Is to save time. Now we have watches also here, to save time. Everybody is saving time, saving time. Everybody busy saving time. Now what are you doing about the save time? What do we do with it? For example, there was a gentleman coming from India, very busy man, very busy, there is no time to talk to anyone. And I said, well, why are you in such a great hurry to go? Oh, you don't know. I am very important for what? I have to attend a particular ball for five hours there. Very good. Is that the way you are going to say? And then I have to attend a race course. I have to do this, I have to do that. This is no saving of time, this is the real waste of time. Real waste of time is this way we do it and what, how are we going to save our time? Time is to be saved, to be realized, to be in meditation, to enjoy the beauties of God. That's why these are all things are given to us and that's how we should look at them. But now that we have become their slaves. When we achieve something, for example, electricity city is so important to New York that one day it stopped, the whole thing stopped. So we become also slaves to these. Apart from that, now we have no time. We are so busy. I don't know. 
I thought that here people will have more time than we have in India because you see if you have to travel we have very funny trains and we have not yet developed as you people are sometimes I have to go to villages in bullock carts and this and this but people have no time this is the trouble in this country they have no time at all and I don't know what constructive work they are doing for themselves so this is what is the right side when we go wrong 